There, uh, there's uh, talk that when it was, it was supposed to go on the road and Michael didn't want to cut it down, uh, down to size to fit the theaters, and then when he finally did, it seemed to get a new life again. I don't know if I agree with that. I, uh, we, we did this first tour out, which was big, just like Broadway, if not bigger, and then eventually we did the bus and truck and where the actors were pushing the towers around. They look like refrigerators, actually. <laughs> and uh, and it, the show worked. The costumes were there. The talent was there. It's just the architecture wasn't there, which was so staggeringly oh, beautiful. Oh, staggering, yeah. And the lighting was way cut down. But the, the bus and truck was more successful than the national tour, but because it wasn't as expensive. Yeah. Well, I think we should wind this up here. It's, uh, you guys were absolutely magnificent. I do have something to read while you're here. Yes. This is a review of Frank Rich after Dream Girls opened. Mr. Bennett has long been Miss, I'm sorry, Mr. Bennett has long been Mr. Robbins' heir apparent, as he has demonstrated in two previous gypsy-like backstage musicals, Follies and A Chorus Line. But last night, the torch was passed firmly, unquestionably, once and for all. Bravo. So, thank you, Michael. Michael would love that. <laughs> now we are going... Hang on to your seats. We are going to see the 3,389th performance of a chorus line finale. Uh, I'd like to say this before because it's hard to... to uh, Michael would have been 67 uh, had he lived. And uh, I feel like you, Steve. We don't know what we've missed. And... Uh, Thank God we had him, mm -hmm. but uh, I wish he was still with us. And thank you, Harvey. You did a great job. Oh, thank yes. you, guys. Thank you. I'm going to invite all the, all the people on stage after this film clip because we want everybody to see this. Okay, hang on to your seats. I will settle for this being the happiest day of my life. I've had the best week rehearsing. I have been rehearsing with 340 dancers. That's a lot of people. And it's been, I see I never graduated from high school because I went into show business. It was more important to me. I never had a prom, I never had a high school reunion. And I mean, we're all back together.
John, want to take over? <laughs> yes. Um, I think is this everybody? I think someone here on the stage needs to have a standing ovation, and we know it's Bob Avian. Oh. <laughs> Bravo! 